All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the orbit of the sun according to the uh, to the Quran. In the front of us, we have a website of Zach and Naik, Dr. Zach and Naik, question and answers. Uh, creating a common platform for Muslims and non-Muslims to remove the misconception about Islam, helping to overcome Islamophobia. All right. Uh, here, there's a question was given to Dr. Zakir Naik. You earlier in your speech quoted a verse from the Quran that uh, actually it is not only the moon which moves, but also the sun. And the audience have approved that the sun moves all right. But this has seemed to be regarding the earlier belief that the earth is around, all right? But all heavenly bodies are going around the earth, including the sun. Uh, the geo uh, 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 theory, you know that all the stars, the sun and the moon go around the earth. Etc. So this is a question, and here Zakir Naik is answering. Now you can uh, freeze the video in order to read all uh, uh, all the statement in text, but because our video will be short, we cannot just read it all. Zakir Naik he says from the chapter of Anbiya, chapter number twenty one, verse number thirty three, it says that Allah is who has created the night and the day, and here supposedly Arabic, uh, each one traveling in. Uh, in an orbit which own has its own motions uh, rotating uh, here they are showing you the Arabic word describing the motion of the body of uh, uh, what is rotating revolving the rotation nowhere does nowhere does in the Quran says that the Sun the moon revolve around the earth Today, science advance that an old this is an old theory which has been proven wrong. So Zakanaiki confirmed that nowhere in the Quran it says that the earth, uh, sorry, the, the, the sun and the moon revolve around the earth. Is that accurate? Let us see if this is true or Zakanaik is just another scammer. He fabricates lies in order to sponsor his lies. This is Ibn Kathir. And Ibn Kathir is not to compare with Zakir Naik, for sure. Zakir Naik is no one compared to Ibn Kathir. However, Ibn Kathir himself, he is a big fat liar too. But still, we are going to use Ibn Kathir to get them busted with their lies. Uh, Ibn Kathir, and we are reading here, let us show you from which chapter. Chapter 36, from verse number 37 to 40, all right? Interpretation of Ibn Kathir, chapter 36, from 37 to 40. And this is Ibn Kathir in given interpretation, remember, not me. They float. They float. They all float. All. Each in an orbit. Means the nights, the day, the sun, the moon. You see, it's not the earth is floating. It is the, the day, the night, the moon. And the sun, all of them are floating. All of them, all of them. Who the day, read carefully. This is make a theory the day, the night, the day, the sun, and the moon. So, the Quran not only claimed that the sun and the moon go around the earth, the Quran claimed that the night and the day is an object. The day and the night, otherwise, how you can say they float? How how the night float? Hmm? Nor does the night outstrip the day. They seek another uh, 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 rapidly. So they seek each other. They are object. Meaning they, there is no gap between the night and the day. Each one of them follow the other. And down here, he explained what is that exactly that mean. He says that this is about... I don't know if all the text is showing for you on the screen. Let's make it bigger. Hold on. I think now you can see it all. Right? So, uh, the day and the night means the day, the night, the sun, 
and the moon all they are floating now floating where in an orbit how we can explain this who knows better the Quran meaning Muhammad or Zak and Naik Muhammad or anyone else for sure the Muslim they will say Zak and Naik knows more than the Prophet Muhammad he said <clears throat> Let us see the hadith. As you see, this is a Sahih hadith. This is Sahih al Bukhari. So, Muslims cannot say we don't accept it. This is a lie because that will be a big problem. The Prophet said, He asked me at the sunset, Do you know where the sun goes? Who is the one will go during the sunset it is the Sun at the time of the sunset I replied Allah and his apostle know better he said it goes ie ie travel till it's prostrate itself underneath the throne and it take permission from Allah to rise again so who is the one is moving who is the one who will go it is the Sun the Sun goes Zakir Naik he said nowhere in the Quran it says that and Zakir Naik he affirmed that there is no way Islam teaches such a thing, which means Zakir Naik accusing the Prophet of Islam to be a liar if he says such a thing. Zakir Naik is getting busted Islamophobia because remember in the article it says that those who say things like this they are Islamophobic people, right? They are Islamophobia people. So look like Muhammad himself is Islamophobia because Muhammad himself is confirming what we just said it is the son who goes and then not only that the verse we just read for you from the Quran in chapter 36 is explained by Muhammad he says and the Sun runs its fixed course for a term of a degree that is a degree of Allah the exalted uh, in might all all-knowing so Muhammad himself explained in chapter 36 verse number 38 so can we consider Muhammad's statement or we consider Zakir Naik's statement? If you are a Muslim, be the judge and you know that you, Zakir Naik is no match to Muhammad, right? Unless you guys, you change the one who called him a prophet and your Zakir Naik is your prophet and he know better what Muhammad he meant. In different hadith, not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that the sun set in murky water. And as you see, we have to repeat sometimes same reference because uh, all of them they are connected when the Sun goes every night where it goes it goes and sleep in a murky water uh, let us see who is the one is talking is Muhammad and this is the same as we saw in the Quran the Quran says the same that the Sun set in the murky water and we mentioned that just a video before so Zakir Naik when he say he claim that there is nowhere in the Quran it says that the Sun moving around the earth that is absolutely a big fat lie because the Quran mentioned that clearly in different verse as we will see and we mentioned to you chapter 36 verse number 40 Chapter 18, verse number six, uh, 86, it says it clearly that the sun sit in a murky water and that sun is the one is moving. It is not the earth. So the sun sit in the murky water and that is under the throne of Allah. But where is the water? Isn't it the water in the earth? So the sun in the Quran clearly is moving around. And then Muhammad in the same chapter, he claimed that the sun uh, there is a sitting place of the sun and there is a rising place of the sun and that is in the east and one is in the west the muslims here by the way they might try to say to you that this is how the the, the sun appeared to alexander the great or zulkarnain but that will be a very funny answer because muhammad he got them busted is it muhammad who said that the sun sit in the murky water if their false claim that this is how it appear to Zulqarnain, 
then how Muhammad he confirm what is in the Quran and saying the Sun yes sit in the murky water and this is a Sahih Hadith as you see this is written in one of the Sahih books there are six uh, authentic books the most authentic books there are six books and this is one of them and as you see even confirmed to be Sahih and Sahih chain so Muhammad he confirmed that the Sun set in murky water and Muhammad describing the Sun movement from point A to point B in different hadith Muhammad he said the following Let's show you the other hadith Do you know where the Sun goes he says I do not know Allah and his prophet know better but no best as usual he said it goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah so it's very clear that the Quran and the Hadith Muhammad all Islamic books confirm a very understand a very wrong understanding of the Sun movement and the orbit and as we showed you even Ibn Ibn Kathir the Quran explained that the Quran consider the day and the night the moon and the Sun they are running in an orbit and the Quran says it clearly each and many I saw many Islamic uh, uh, videos they say the word each have nothing to do with the Sun uh, the day and the night each goes only to the Sun and the moon but the fact this is not true as you see here you go in front of you means the night the day the Sun and the moon all of them are floating to say all of them they are floating that's mean the day and the night in the Quran it is considered to be a body which is moving physical body as if they are a star or if they are creatures and all of us we knew that there is nothing is called day and night are to be considered to be something physical uh, if we go to uh, uh, to other verses in the Quran if we have time let us see how much time we have uh, okay one minute remain, remaining for the 15 minutes so our time is up almost uh, because I made, I made a timer so guys download the video and just I want to tell you uh, I just been uh, contacted by uh, brother David Wood and tomorrow around 8 o'clock between 7 30 and 8 o'clock I will be in his channel not in my channel in his channel as a guest so tomorrow join us I will make a video about it to inform you as soon as he create a link for it so inform your friends and thank you very much for being here if you like to learn more don't forget to read my books you can find them in Amazon and we have in many languages in Spanish in Dutch um, in uh, uh, French uh, you know you name it I mean in many languages uh, for sure the English uh, uh, is the first one to find and actually uh, my books became very popular uh, between Muslims and I'm really not surprised to see number one buyers of my books are Muslims because Muslims are hungry for the truth always they heard one side of the story and today we are exposing the true side of the story no lying everything we say come with the proofs and reference no addition no fabrication no decoration no makeup black and white as it is and no political correctness so our time is up thank you guys for being here and don't forget to download the download the video and share it with your friends christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again bye bye